Yeah, this would be the part to show. Here we go. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Full Media Part 45, Extending Part 2. In today's episode, we set out to do complete enumerating of the D-flat 1331 extended chords, updating our shadow scales reference chart, tweaking the lyric of the hymn using uh, within instead of therein, which we did. We're still tweaking that lyric and there it is right there within and then uh, look at animation ideas for the full media suite and we also wanted to take the hymn and pull out two melody lines which you've just heard so the original hymn has arpeggios running all over the place and we decided to pull out an upper and a lower melody and just listen to them solo and change them from piano to a flute on the upper melody and an oboe on the lower melody. And we really like how that turned out. So the results are we completed enumerating the D flat one, three, three, one chords. And what that looks like is all of this. These are now everything that we could find in that D flat one, three, three, one hexatonic scale. And we found a lot of chords coming in over to the right. These are all shared minor major chords. And then these are the upper ones are minor, the lower ones are major. And then uh, we actually found a couple more full tonality. So then we updated our shadow reference scale down here. So we now have 32 chords total for D flat one, three, three, one having done today's exercise. So we're getting ready to start composing with that. That's why these are highlighted in yellow. And previously we had also gone and added all the extended chords to the 2552 scale. And we have 54 chords there. So this is also highlighted in yellow because we are looking at um, composing with that, which is what that's all about there. We also started a full media suite animation and we're going to show you that uh, and then uh, that'll take us home so the full media suite idea is that we're using the hymn ugh, the hymn the theme the trio and the triptych and they are playing in sequence here so we've never we have put two mp3s together but we've never tried putting four together and so this is our beginning animation. We'll show you how the how it kicks off and then we'll kind of fast forward through it. So here we go, full media suite, starting with the hymn. We just heard that with solo, uh, solo oboe and flute. So now we're going to watch how it tr transitions smoothly, we hopeful, into the next piece. So even though it's the same arpeggios, there's a bunch of extra figures in there and a completely different orchestration, namely uh, contrabass and French horn. So now we have to move chugging along to where it transitions magically to somewhere in here. Here. Uh, 
Then we like for the transition. Then we transition into the final part, which is somewhere in here. So that concludes today's stream. On the full media animation, there's more ideas to work on here. Uh, but basically, we're kind of chuffed that we got able to piece it together here. You can see how we had to adjust the playlist timing to match the actual lengths of the, the files. We actually named the files by how long they were. So our ideas for next time are to add the extended chords, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, to both our 2552 5, and D flat 1331 1, reference score so we can copy and paste the chords into compositions and some other stuff. Thank you for your time and attention, curiosity and interest. We do appreciate your coming by. Please do come back. Tune in for the next episode and as always keep on streaming.